What's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We're doing your love reading for the week. I hope I'm finding you all well. Remember, if the reading resonates, so please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower link below in the description. Before we get into love, I thought we would see what the Coffee Cup Oracle has in store for you this week, Scorpio. Ooh, we've got the bride, wife, and engagement at the bottom. We have got opportunities in the home, cunning stealth, wisdom keeper. Okay. Ooh, success and pride, the crown, bear, strength and resourceful, nourishment and transformation, wife and engagement. Some of you could be married. Some of you could be getting engaged. I see you guys working on your physical appearance and what you're eating this week. Some of you could be spending some time in the home, but you could also be searching for a new home with the gate. But there's new opportunities when it comes to your st uh, stability and your stealth. I see you guys just becoming very um, strong this week and very regal. It's giving me a very regal, worship me vibe. <laughs> so that's a good week for Scorpios, for sure. Success and pride is coming to you. What's at the top? <gasps> the husband and loyalty. Oh, shit. Now, here we go. Snake with luck and money. Playfulness. So watch out for people around you as well who are after your money or trying to marry you for money. Why did I see that? There's some kind of loyalty that comes to you because of your success and pride, whether you're masculine or feminine. And someone might be trying to desire and attract your abundance. So there's also just a feminine in the background trying to block your abundance, but cannot. Okay. All right. Moving on. Actually, I'm taking out the success and pride card. Okay. Now, let's see what's going on in love, Scorpio. I just finished the all signs video. It was fucking insane. <laughs> if you haven't checked it out, I'm leaving it at the end of this video. Please check it out. All right. What's coming up for my babies? My beautiful, sexy Scorpios. Oh, shit. What? What's going on here? What's going on for Scorpios this week? Oh, shit. What? What? Hotel, lies, strategy, phone call, mistake. Okay. What does Scorpio need to know about the person coming toward them, please? Ooh, we. Ooh, they talk a lot about you. What else? Oh, my. What? 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 Okay, so let's just start clarifying as we go here. What is storm warning with friends for my Scorpios? What in the hell? You might have friends telling you to look out for something here. That could be it as well. But let's see. What's storm warning with friends for Scorpio this week? Introverted, holding back, closed off, not saying much, unawakened, ruled by the ego, and life partner forever potential. Unconditional love at the bottom. I feel like you're just like in this spot in your life where you might feel like there's a lot going on around you with the storm warning card. And so you're very kind of in internalizing things, Scorpio, like we do. And you might be spending some time with friends here soon because you're seeing that you need to get out of that space, especially if you've been in a relationship for a long time and you've lost touch with a lot of friends. OK, yep. Things are coming to shake up your world, baby. What's the phone call? Nostalgia, past love, past memory, thinking about old times, and manipulation, controlling, and toxic marriage proposal business offer. Fuck. <laughs> Some of you got an ex-wife or ex-husband here or a spouse that's going to tell you something that you definitely don't want to hear. I think they made a big mistake and hooked up with someone at a hotel. Mm. Maybe felt like things were falling apart in the connection. But then I'm also getting that someone you used to mess with is feeling this way about you and wants to give you this after whatever fell apart in this connection. Okay. Maybe they knew they were manipulating you or they know that from the past and they want to change that. So expect a phone call, false twin flame in the reverse. What is lies, please? Because Scorpio, we don't play that. Mm. Divine feminine. There's a, a feminine line here. 
Boundary stop, speak up, self-discipline, awakening, spiritual awakening, seeing it for what it is, sole purpose. At the bottom, we got chaser coming for you, determined and in pursuit with build your account, wealth, and blessings. How do I want to say this? Um, I feel like there's like this, maybe this like gold digging, scheming feminine energy. Okay. Someone's also seeing that if they were using someone or lying to themselves about using someone, that's coming out. Yes, boundaries. It's a spiritual awakening and seeing it for what it is. So I feel like you're going to, someone's mask has fallen off this week, Scorpio. Ooh. They're trying to find out how they're going to tell you this, I feel, with the strategy. But let's see, what is hotel for Scorpio? What's the hotel? Jealousy, watching, green-eyed, monster, leaving, moving forward, leaving behind what doesn't serve you and missing you. At the bottom, we got a new perspective. Look at it differently, a change. Some of you could be taking a trip, okay? There was huge emphasis on, in the first reading, someone traveling and meeting someone new. Doesn't have to be a far distance, but... It's almost like I'm seeing someone hooking up with someone and then seeing them on their phone, like, what you doing? Texting your wife, texting your husband. Like, it's one of those, like, someone's having an affair. And I feel like you might have left this situation or your past person did, and now they're missing you, wishing you were with them. Lordy, lordy, lord. Someone could just be planning a destination date with you. But it does say new perspective. Look at it differently. It changed. So I feel like this person's trying to take you out more. Could be that. What strategy? Trust your spirit guides. Your angels are supporting you. I love you. Deception lies wearing a mask. Secrets. Union coming together. What is this? Hold on. Regret missing you self-sabotage. Okay, so someone is spying on social media. They do regret how they treated you. I see that both of you might think about each other while in separation. I'm seeing that it's very quiet, but you're both envisioning this, but at the same time wondering, and this was in the reverse, if you should release and move on. So it's about taking the mask off through the spiritual awakening and not playing a game or a strategy, working through your heart because you love you and this person loves you and you're trusting that the guides are going to support you versus, oh, I can do this, I can do that, and everything is in your hands. You see that what you're, you see your sole purpose. Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm giving you the real version of me. Where's you, right? So this person made a mistake and I do see a wedding ring on his finger. Tell me about the mistake. What's the mistake? Twin flame, divine connection, new love, excitement, someone new is coming in, soul purpose, unexpected surprise, divine masculine. So it is, I feel like this, this divine masculine might have strayed towards new love. Maybe they're going through their twin flame journey or you are, and it's, they're having a hard time, but I feel like they're, they're awakening to this love Scorpio. So what is this unexpected visitor and gossip? We may hear about a third party this week that you are not expecting to hear about. What's unexpected visitor with gossip? So someone's going to pop up on you and tell you something or they're telling this person and I'm noticing a wedding ring again. Coming forward, planning on communicating heart to heart conversation about the runner here and fast movement. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. One more, please. What What is this for Scorpio? Family provider, make the effort. Romance, wine and dine, getting to know each other. Flirt, flirt, complicated confusion, not seen clearly. Attraction, wanting more. So this person hooked up with a false twin flame. And this false twin flame, whether they're feminine or masculine, has been stalking you and your person. Or this person might not have even hooked up and want your person, period. Okay, they are out of your ass. This could be someone they were married to, someone you were married to, but someone is like not getting the big picture. They are confused and they're not seeing clearly as to why someone is running away from a connection fast as hell and towards something else. And this is going to happen quick, okay? Express shipping in this motherfucker. Because whatever news is coming out is going to like catapult this into this spiritual awakening and i say that scorpio could be <laughs> because you have temperance and you have the sun which 
We all know we're in Sagittarius season right now. Look at how the sun's creeping up behind me. I love that shit. And then we got success, victory, wisdom, and stability, the home. So just know that whatever the hell's going on, it's bringing stability to your castle and your crown. Okay, let's move on. All right, let's see. What do my Scorpios need to know today? Just readjusting something here. If it would move for me. There we go. It's like way too much going on there. All right. I don't think that helped much, but whatever. <laughs> oh, no, that was close. Hang on, guys. And there's temperance. There's your angels again coming in to intervene in the situation. <laughs> With the wheel of fortune, you guys, that's awesome. See what I mean? There's something that's going to make you very happy because you gain the wisdom that you need in your life right now. You're doing exactly what your guys want you to. What is coming towards my Scorpios? I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting this channel. You have no idea how much you guys mean to me. And thank you for all of the, um, not just the time stampers, okay? But the people that actually comment and help other people in the comments, that's my real Scorpios. I love you guys so freaking much. You don't even know. Sending light and love. <laughs> all right, Scorpios. I feel like this is good. Mm, as soon as I said it, it popped up. King of Pentacles. Get it, baby. Get in that money, Scorpio. What else? Ooh, you might be pushing away a uh, King of Wands. <laughs> okay. Seven of Swords in the reverse at the bottom. Ooh, tell me about who's coming for Scorpio. The Herophon. Mm. What else? Oh, the moon. We got Taurus. Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, it's still hiding down here. People are getting the hell out of your space because they know you got good shit come to like, or I feel like they're getting their karma, Scorpio. That's what's going on. They're dipping out. What's crowning? Okay. They said this could be a good surprise, Scorpio. You won't expect it. What's in the central? Yeah, time to move on. From mental blocks. And what's in the foundation for my babies? Oh, looking sexy, looking fine. Mm. Whether you're masculine or feminine, if you're into the feminine, ooh, she's hot. Outcome, the hermit, the tower. Mm. This is reminding me of the other reading. Breaking down the way that you're looking at shit, the way you're internalizing it, how you're implementing it. Queen of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Someone waited too long to speak on or take action or to gain clarity on what the hell they needed. And they got the advice. They knew what the hell to do. And someone was waiting and waiting and waiting. And then boom, the tower came. Yep, it sure did. What else? The Four of Pentacles. And now this person's clinging to your energy, Scorpio. They won't let go. And now they're impl they're like implementing all the things you told them, what you could have built with them, what you taught them, how you helped them break down things that they didn't know about themselves or needed to learn within themselves like the hermit. Damn. So you're like, back up, Jack. <laughs> For real. I feel like these are your spirit guides too. Shit. You got a bodyguard, Scorpio? You got so much money, you have a damn bodyguard. Look at the bottom. You went through fucking hell, Scorpio. Look. I'm sorry, I keep saying look, and I'm not going to use <laughs> Two of Swords in the reverse with the Four of Wands, Death, the Three of Swords in the wheel. You took the pain, you faced it head on. You said, I, I know I, I was in denial about something. I need to get stable. And this is my fierce death card where you're like, I'm going for it. Fuck this. Whether it hurts or not, I have to. And look at all these people separating down here. There could be a family separating or multiple people. We've got the hero font down here begging you. You know, your spirituality leaders are like, come on, Scorpio, you can do this. And you did. You fucking did this. Whatever this is. I don't feel like it's third party. I feel like this is actual heartbreak. Whatever you thought made you stable, you had to break it down, okay, and just go for it. And I think that you definitely did. But now people are like, damn, they weren't expecting you to do this, okay? So let's hide this irritable four of pentacles with what your real fate will be which is people are going to want to hang on to you after they see what's coming for you uh-huh yeah 
So you're confused, okay? You're going to be getting a lot of love offers or you're going to be like, did you really think you could pull one over on me kind of energy? I've done the mental work. I'm moving into calmer waters. You're also looking great physically this week, Scorpio. You could be working out, eating healthier, feeling creative, but you're taking action, okay? The person coming toward you secretly wants to know about your spirituality, who you are, or they want to, um, they secretly want commitment with you, okay? They really do look up to you more than you're probably recognizing as you are the only king right now, <laughs> okay? If you're dealing with feminines, you could have a um, ex-wife or a queen of swords here because the queen of swords does represent the ex-wife energy who's been, you know, waiting for you to do something, give her some kind of money. And then you got this queen of wands who's this new love, but you can't figure out her emotions. And then I feel like if you are the feminine, you're very much in this very... Um, clear communication thought process and physical okay emotions might be a little awry but you're working on that right because when you do the physical and you do the mental the rest follows right yep then love can come so let's clarify what does scorpio need to know in love this week what is the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands? What is this doing here? Some of you are going to be a big boss, or you already are. Someone's also wanting a commitment. If you are in a commitment to a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, they do not want you to have other options, and they see your glow up. King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Oh, Queen of Cups. And the Nine of Cups. This is Cancer Pisces. But this is also, I feel... <laughs> This is you. Um, I see the Empress at the bottom. This is you like just in your like, I'm not giving my cup to anybody, but you are someone's wish fulfillment. You don't see them behind you. You're like, I'm not ready to give up my love until I know for sure. Tell me what Scorpio needs to know. Yeah, six of wands. And the seven of cups. You want to see what other options are out there for you. You don't want to be in a stuck energy. And it could be with a king of pentacles who's in the reverse. I don't know. But I see people wondering how you got this great success and your wish fulfillment, Scorpio. It was from hard fucking work. That's what it was from. And it's like you're blocking someone from having access to your gifts. I'm hearing that as well. It's like someone was trying to tap in. Okay. Could have been a Capricorn. We got the, a Capricorn in the reverse and the Knight of Wands. This could have been a Aries Leo Sag or a Capricorn that was not for your highest good that was trying to maybe create an illusion around your success. But you turned your back on the situation. You evaluated your own cup. You put your guard up because you knew that you needed to focus on what, where your emotions were and what your wish fulfillment was before you shared that cup. What's the outcome? <laughs> the knight of wands so again you're taking your passions elsewhere but you're gonna have people chasing you scorpio three of swords in the reverse with the empress okay and like i said i feel like you guys right now are like you're not really wanting to hear it with the page of cups six of pentacles in the reverse mm -mm. what is the hero font with the moon for the person coming towards scorpio <laughs> they're gonna try everything Scorpio, they're gonna come to your house. They're gonna they're gonna want to take you out on a date. You're gonna be like, what is going on? Like, I see it. I see people wanting to see you right now. Very eager. What's the hero found with the moon? The eight of swords. I told you this person's very much like helpless and in their head. They don't want something to end with you, Scorpio. Oh my God. Jesus. Ah, oh, God, Scorpio. Who the fuck is this? Oh, they move off her. They're stuck in their head. Someone's having back problems, mental fucking problems, heart populations. They need to calm down. Running away from their own heartbreak, not wanting to heal, not putting things to bed, just keeping them in their head. Who am I, cat in the hat? <laughs> Fucking cat in the hat today, guys. That's what I'm seeing. So they think they're getting away with something here. Until the hero font steps in. And spirit's like, uh-uh, where the hell are you going? That's literally what I'm getting. You know when a kid's trying to run off. 
from doing something bad and mom's like, where the fuck you going? <laughs> and they freeze. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> like, I ain't done with your ass. I seen you. <laughs> they thought they were secretive with the Moon Three Swords, but mm -mm. oh no, what's the outcome? This person's going crazy over you, Scorpio. Oh my gosh, the Six of Pentacles. Oh, mm -mm. they won't let go of one old situation, but they keep trying to give to this. How is that even possible for this person? Six of Pentacles, Spirit. What is it? Financial balance, three of pentacles, six, seven, eight, nine, independence. It's not, it's about balance. Someone has to share their finances with another person and they really don't want to. That's what I'm feeling off of that. But it's the only way they can feel independence is by sharing. So this could be like, this could, I don't know. I feel like this is about, um, in general, people in the community not finding good work here. There's just people that are shady at work not enough pay, something like that. But then when I go to like the Nine of Pentacles, this is about independence and financial stability. So it could be that this person feels like they don't have that, okay? But tell me why this person is the Six of Pentacles on top of all of these self-crippling beliefs, spirit, please. They will, okay. So they want to move into calmer waters, but I feel like you're teaching this person something, Scorpio. You are a source of light that is teaching this person what they need to do. Yeah, they they need to they need to quit creating some kind of turmoil. Um, how do I want to say this? Tumultuous energy by telling everyone their business or pulling everyone into their own problems and not looking for the answer within themselves here. Okay, so that that part is done. I'm seeing. Look at this. We got the Moon, the Lovers, and the King of Cups with the Tower, and the Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So it's almost like somebody here is kind of like waiting for this to happen. Okay, I feel like someone really does love you, Scorpio, and you really love someone else, too, with this moon, um, lovers, king of cups, but then you're looking towards this direction, okay, and you got the tower, the seven of pentacles, the queen of swords, and the king of swords, it's like you're waiting for a divorce to be final, this is the divorced couple, or you're debating whether or not you want to get one. I'm just saying that because we do have the lovers here with this combination. Someone's waiting for something to fall apart. This could be Libra, Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini. Okay, but that was just what was under the deck for what this person's going through right now. They're really, it's a lot for them, but they're finding the peace they need. They may even retreat for a while with the Chariot and Temperance. They may retreat during Sagittarius season. What's the Seven of Cups for Scorpio? Someone might get ghosted. I'm not going to lie. As I'm seeing that ghost up there. <laughs> What's the Seven of Cups? I mean, I don't want to put the energy out there, but yeah. Someone's like, what the fuck? High Priestess, Page of Swords. And then we got Strength here. Sign of Leo. What's behind that? The, soul, the truth is coming out, baby. Woo! Oh, there's communication, Scorpio, about the truth. I hope you can handle the truth. Could be about a Virgo or a trickster here, okay? They might have felt like they completed a cycle, but someone was manipulating. Look at this. It's communication about a new beginning that could set you free and give you strength, but then I also feel like it's hard for someone else to hear. And I say that because we have the Five of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Page of Swords. Someone is watching you, and they don't feel... that. It's almost like they're surprised this happens for you. They were not expecting you to get whatever this is, Scorpio. You have strong communication. You give people hope. And I feel like you're about to be... Um, people are like trying to figure out how to do something like you, okay? That's also what I'm seeing. They want to know how you do that. How do you know how to sort out your emotions so easily? And then bounce back and have this glow up like that. Mm-hmm. That's what's going on. We have Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't really matter. I want to run through the signs today. You'll know if it applies, right? Yeah. What's the Six of Swords? What is the Six of Swords? So it looks like you and this person are on the same page. It's in the central. It's like, let's get past this bullshit. You know? Yeah. Seven of Wands, King of Pentacles. It's coming back again. What? Ooh, spirit's here today. I like it. What else, spirit? 
Oh, fuck. Oh, Scorpio. What is going on, baby? Here, you got a King of Pentacles or a Capricorn going fucking crazy over you. Then you got an air sign watching everything you do. This King of Pentacles is big mad if you're dealing with one because you're pushing them out. They feel it too. I'm noticing, first of all, the gifts that this little elf has, right? Then I'm noticing the Christmas tree behind the King of Pentacles. He's been naughty this year. Why? Because fucking Krampus is here. Krampus came for the King of Pentacles. Someone was also upset because they thought they could block your financial abundance, Scorpio. Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo. Yeah, they did. They really fucking did. You're also telling people, get out of my face and quit trying to stop my healing journey. Someone wants you bound to them. Especially if you're married, they could be using kids as a manipulation tactic. And... It's because this person can't stand not hearing from you, Scorpio, not feeling stable when they're not with you. This could be a cancer, but they feel like things aren't moving and they want to speak to you. They feel like they're going to lose you forever with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and the Hero Font in the reverse. This is a big marriage reading for me. Someone's like, how we were going in this direction and now it's frozen. It's stopped. And they're, they're not paying attention to it. I, this King of Pentacles looks very arrogant to me. He's not, his eyes are closed. He's not even acknowledging that he's toxic. Okay. So let me rephrase this for you. Because I know you're confused. You have a toxic ass earth sign around you. And you have to push this person out. Because they think they can keep you bound. They need to learn that lesson. You are the King of Pentacles. Remember that. Don't forget it. Let them sit in the energy you probably had to sit in. Maybe it was for a long time, Scorpio. Shit, I don't know what's at the top. Could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. Let's see what this Queen of Wands is. But I don't, I don't like it. This is definitely getting away from people who thought they could do this to you, Scorpio. Now they're surprised. <laughs> you blew shit up with that tower. I feel it. That was you. That was definitely you. And I think you did do it in Scorpio season. You just had an epiphany. What's the Queen of Wands? Oh! I love it. Ten of Cups. King of Swords. Oh my God. Ten of Pentacles. Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. I told you something beautiful is coming in for you and it's coming by the new year. Yay! Scorpios. Are you excited? I'm excited for you. This is amaze balls. Mm-hmm. Look at how happy you're going to be. And someone will release. They will stop clinging to you. Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups. Some of you could be meeting an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Mm -hmm. But in general, I feel like this is someone you know. It's gonna. This person's going to show you they know what the hell they want. Okay, With the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, they're going to treat you like the king or queen you are. Because they know the same about you. They want to build with you. Mm hmm yeah some of you could have a strong um aquarian libra gemini in your family or a virgo and this person's just coming in with some good news this week it doesn't always have to be so dramatic <laughs> guys i'm always trying to tell people that this could also be good news from a leo too okay someone is completing a freaking cycle but i know that right because we have the new year card here but it's about how you did it scorpio it's definitely about how you did it I love this reading. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to pick these guys back up and we're going to clarify what this Wheel of Fortune is bringing my beautiful Scorpio and my sexy Scorpios. I feel like you guys are in sexy mode right now, for sure, with that queen of wands. <laughs> Someone's trying to take your ass to the hotel. All right, what is this for Scorpios today? What is the outcome this week with the Wheel of Fortune spirit? What are you bringing in for my Scorpios? What is this blessing for Scorpios this week? The Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. 
And at the bottom, we got the Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Someone's been doing a lot of housework or just working in the house. They need to get out, have some fun, play outside, do something with the kids. Maybe you're building snowmen this week or maybe you're just like going out with a Virgo or an Aries here. But this is about getting out, going on a date and taking us a, a little break here. All right. I don't feel like you need to work as hard this week. But then we got the five of wands. What is this? Two people going in two separate directions because one person needs to face their truth. They're too aloof. This person has to face their truth. You already have. I see it. Someone also wants to come toward you with a gift. But I feel like this is you making your decision to move forward, Scorpio, and this person knowing that they've got a lot to work for or with they're looking towards a horizon this could be a long distance relationship for some of you but they're facing their truth about how they feel about you and communicating that to you this week um i'm definitely gonna get some more though what is this truth being communicated to scorpio this week what is the truth being communicated to scorpio this week i don't know why i just giggled what is it Okay, the Queen of Swords, Two of Swords. What else? The Two of Cups, the Hero of Wands. <laughs> um, Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck with what? The Fool, Aries. Um, some of you could be like, I'm getting pull my head out of my ass syndrome, Scorpio. It's about a relationship because you know how we can be about love sometimes mm -hmm. all right so you could be turning your back on new love and a marriage you just feel like you're in denial when it comes to your thoughts and you're waiting so that's probably why you created your own tower or your angels did to see you happy here all right so you did this yourself this is what's happening this week you're gonna take off your own blindfold or someone's giving you advice here and this is going to help you see that you have the power to have new love that's super spiritual, okay, and deep. So this could be this communication from a distance. Like I said, it could be a friend. It could be anyone, family, whoever's closest to you. But someone's like, hey, Scorpio, do you see that? <laughs> and you're like, oh, shit, yeah. But see how you're turning your back? It's like... The true match is turning away from each other to heal mentally. I'm getting a lot of that this week. All right, let's see what this person doesn't want you to know, Scorpio. What does this person not want my Scorpios to know? I want to tell you to wear your crown proud this week, my loves. Mm-hmm. Tell me. What is this person hiding from Scorpios? What do they not want Scorpio to know? Destiny. Fulfilled balancing so i'm understanding our relationship and our connection what i once thought was trivial was something more on a higher consciousness that i couldn't understand but then but i do now when i'm with you i feel complete i feel as if i've won the best prize of all you're exactly what i need and want in my life with balancing remorseful through actionable change wants to undo the wrongs and do right by you understanding what you put in you get out karmic justice D -d 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 damn I told y'all. That's I fucking told y'all. So they probably thought that they were breaking you down, but they just built you up. So that's why we got the seven of cups. I'm telling you, they're like, how in the hell did Scorpio get all this success? What? They thought you were just sitting. Mm -mm. No. What else? Runner. Running from their destiny, glow up on top of fulfilled, and courage on top of balance. So we got. I don't know what you want from me i love you but i can't give you what you need i do not have the time or capacity to understand the connection best to leave it alone with overcoming illness and negativity feeling confident and being on the right path connecting with others positive vibes a new phase in life this is you this isn't them you're running away from someone because you're afraid of it and you do want to focus on yourself until you know for sure that's exactly what i got with courage i don't care what it takes how long it takes, who I upset, I'm going to return to you one way or the other. And this person's like, we need to balance this shit now, now, now. And Scorpio is not someone you could force to do something. So I really see you taking a, taking a second. But this is at the bottom. 
It says, I'm healing myself through meditation and spiritual practices. It's the only way I can make myself feel whole. I knew it, Scorpio. Then we have cosmic love. That's what comes after your healing journey. Even though we are not together, we are connected through and through. When I sleep, I dream of you. When I awake, I think of you. I'm able to feel you as if you are physically here with watching. Creates fake accounts to stay up to date. Pretends not to care, but becomes obsessive late night scrolling on social media platforms. This person is kind of dangerous and uncertain and, and can be intimidating towards this, but they do want to balance that out. <laughs> so we'll give them that, Scorpio. Three more for what this person doesn't want Scorpio to know. What's, let's just do what's coming towards Scorpios, please, in love right now. One, two, three. Yeah, someone's still not awakened yet. We had that after small offering, but they are trying, Scorpio. So we have keep we keep replaying the same story over and over again, and it never ends well. We are going. It says, when are we going to do better so we can be better? This is a conversation I feel like you had with someone, Scorpio. And then we have, I know you want more from me, but this is what I can give you at the moment. I'm unsure of what I can give you and when I can give it to you, but I want to offer you something more valuable than before with acquiring knowledge. Our connection is very intense and confusing, but I'm trying to understand our undeniable bond. You were brought to me to teach me things and to bring awareness to my own existence. Bam. And that's what Scorpios do. I feel like that's why it's hard for us a lot of the time to be in relationships. But this one might be one you want to be in, especially with cosmic love. But I get that someone's not liking it very much. <laughs> okay. Just look out for your little stalkers. Um, yeah, let's go to this deck. What is coming towards my Scorpios in love this week, angels? What do they need to know? Them and the person coming towards them. What is happening for them in love this week? That's where I'm thinking about getting a new desk. We got creativity. Gateway to creation, creative solution, ideas, a strong urge to express yourself. I told you. And you're attracting a lot of abundance and happiness with that. Okay? You're going to feel so good in your own skin. Painting roses red, trying to fix and correct, improve something, making the best out of a bad situation. you That's what you do, Scorpio. It's like, I've painted this motherfucker so many times. <laughs> I've tried the big brush. I've tried the little brush. I've tried fucking Picasso. I've tried. So I get it. I get where this energy is coming from, and it, it made you awaken. With what? The grasp of greed, materialism, possessiveness, and selfishness. See, what is that? I never noticed those numbers on her crown. This is about stocks and bonds. And you've got someone that's very greedy around you, Scorpio. And maybe they were not focused in on love. Maybe that was that king of pentacles. And you got tired of trying to show them. King or queen, okay? You got tired of them trying to get your money, too, if you are the king of pentacles. What's at the bottom? The moon, the rising star, and wishes granted. I'm stopping it there. Yeah. Yes, we are. Scorpios need this reading today. So we got the moon. Fears, insecurity, things are not as they seem. There's information to be revealed. But you found it. With rising star, recognition, favorable outcome, joyful transformation, and which is granted, which is coming true, magical energies surround you, your thoughts are manifesting. You're manifesting your own wealth. You are this rising star right now, Scorpio. You got beautiful things coming for you in a major way. Look at this Ten of Pentacles down here. I mean, seriously, not even just that. Your spirituality right now is on point that it's even rubbing off on other people. You got them scared and shit. Even the devil's about to crawl up into his own asshole. <laughs> Yeah, he is. So, um, let's get some romance angels, and then we will go to all signs. Well, actually, we'll pull your spiritual cards after this, and then we'll go to all signs. All right. What does Scorpio need to know about the person coming towards them in love this week and for themselves? What does Scorpio need to know about the person coming towards them? How are they feeling, and what are their intentions? What is the outcome between Scorpio and this person from now into the near future, please? Now into the near future. Okay. Scorpios, 
you have got meet a kinship soul. Sometimes we meet someone and feel like we've known them our whole lives with get courage and dare. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength while loving someone deeply gives you courage. Your heart, shak heart chakra is being activated. Okay? Yep. You might feel like this person's a devil because of what you've been through before, but it's okay to take a chance. You don't have to commit right away. Take things slow, Scorpio. <laughs> The person coming towards you has got love triangle. Don't let two men or women fall in love with you. It's not the sort of thing that ends well with make a selfish decision. Sometimes in life we have to make a selfish decision and do what's best for you. So this person knows they like to be in third party situations to, to gain attention. That's sad as hell. And then it's like I heard never ending story. Like it's something this person keeps repeating. Um, then we have take a romantic trip. It doesn't matter where you're going. It's who you have beside you. I'm telling you, some of you are going like maybe on a trip with friends and meeting someone at a distance here. It's going to be deep spiritual connection. And this is new love, the two of cups. And then we have watch, <laughs> watch out for a love affair. When you are in a love affair, you risk ending up with a broken heart. The best love affairs are those you never had. Look at how leery you guys are being towards the energy. Like you're feeling people out for sure. Mm-hmm. Someone's going to go on a trip and go out with friends at a bar and meet this guy and he's going to be a gentleman, but you're going to think that he's on some other shit. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing that too. And the feminine when I look at the card here for walk out for a love affair. Um, there's also someone who is taking a trip to have an, an affair. And I think that's why we had the hotel with the mistake. Okay, an unexpected visitor. So... We shall see. Please let me know <laughs> in the comments, Scorpio. This reading was something else. Now let's go to your spiritual messages and then I'll sign. Mm -hmm. Scorpio. Woo. What is the advice for my loves before they leave this reading today? Ooh, divine masculine. Reconciliation. Accept your blessings and the divine feminine holy crap oh my gosh you guys i'm speechless this this is a realignment of you and your divine masculine you're both being reset in your energy so it says there's excessive masculine energy that needs to be balanced in order to feel harmonious within take a step back and find a more feminine approach with divine feminine your feminine energy is out of balance and you can leave it can leave you vulnerable learn to use your feminine energy wisely why do I feel like this is a reconciliation of a twin flame or a soulmate? Look at this. There is someone or something that can still be saved if you choose to compromise. Try to find the middle ground between two points. This is insane. Look at this. The divine masculine and the divine feminine. This is so cool. I kind of want that for my screenshot, but damn! And then accept your blessing, Scorpio. It says, believe that the door of abundance is waiting for you. The clearer the goals, the quicker you'll get there. Stop doubting yourself. They're about to pour a bunch of abundance into your life, Scorpio. Get ready. They said pass the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Pass the Ten of Pentacles. This is amazing. You're, it's almost like you're starting this whole new chapter in your life and it's full of like riches and like the person you're supposed to be with for sure. Okay, now all signs. All right, timestampers, thank you so much. Sending you so many blessings. All right, so Scorpio kneeling. I guess I can slide these down. There we go. Scorpio dealing with on Aries. What do they need to know? Drinking the Kool-Aid. Listens to others and disregards their own feelings. Not only goes along with others, peop goes along with other people's plans and ideas without thinking of their own well-being. So you might have an Aries that's drinking the Kool-Aid right now with uprooting. They're leaving all that's familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. So they're done drinking the Kool-Aid with upcoming trip, journey, path, long distance travel. I hope this is my bestie so we can go on a trip. <laughs> we definitely need to go. All right, Scorpio and a Leo. Settling. I am, wait, 
I know I'm not happy, but I feel I have no way out. I just can't walk away from my duties and the one I am with, even if I'm not internally happy. Yikes, fuck. Well, a Leo is looking like a lost cause or was with release. When they set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. Exactly, Scorpio. Sorry, my daughter's doing her chore. Okay, deal with it. <laughs> I'm a, I told you I'm OCD. I do all the cleaning. She comes home and vacuums. So it says not yet certain, unsure of desires and confusion. So that's probably why you had to let him go, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Scorpio and a Sag. Intuition, light bulb moments of realization, direct knowledge from source without rational thought, a deep knowing and understanding without evidence. So you got a Sag that feels deeply intuitively connected to you. With the journey, this journey may be long and challenging, but as long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. Ooh with find you attractive physical attraction beauty you got a sag coming towards you scorpio and they're like come with me <laughs> come on scorpio and aquarius insecurities unsure of who and where they are in life wears a mask to hide their feelings and fear of rejection constantly covers up who they are and fear of what others may think of them yikes Music. Music brings them closer to you. Certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them. So they really connected with the artistic, creative side of you, Scorpio. And then we got trying to score. Purely sexual, no serious intentions. That too. <laughs> Who isn't trying to do that with Scorpio? I swear. <laughs> Scorpio and a Libra. Scorpio and a Libra. Soulmate. I feel you are my equal. You make me want to be a better person, not just for you, but also for myself. You challenge me to change and grow. I like that. With temptation, each, each day gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true. They see you as their forbidden fruit. Damn, this person losing their mind over you. Devoted to you, faithful, trustworthy, and loyal. Oh my God, you're about to meet a freaking uh, Libra that is your soulmate, Scorpio. Woo! It's going to be hot in there. Yes. And it starts sweating. <laughs> Scorpio and a Gemini. Scorpio and Gemini. Give me. Juggling. I'm having a hard time processing what happened between us, and I'm juggling my own personal responsibilities, and I need time and space with, to deal with everything. Good for you, Gemini. <laughs> Scorpio, don't give a fuck. The mask. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. How about you don't? How about you keep your mask on if you're juggling with... New love hasn't met the one, someone new. So they feel like you're their new love. They want to tell you, but this person knows they juggle. And so they're afraid to open up completely. Fuck them. Scorpio and the Capricorn. So they figure it out. Wordless. There is so much for me to tell you, but I'm able to express myself in a rational way. So I'd rather be quiet. That's what I need to do. I can't even talk today with divinely guided you have met your divine flame just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing so you got a capricorn that feels like they can't tell you how they really feel about you with they will return not over temporary breakup they feel like you were divinely guided into their life they look at you very angelic scorpio and a Taurus. runner i don't know what you want from me i love you but i can't give you what you need i don't have the time or the capacity to understand our connection it's best to leave it alone Ooh. Damn. With awakening, the awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection. <laughs> now they're running upside down. So we got deluding the truth. White lies don't want to hurt you. So they ran away because they weren't ready. And now they want to run back. Great. <laughs> Scorpio and a Virgo. Fragments of the soul. I'm working on my self-worth. For a long time, I deemed myself as someone who didn't deserve love and happiness. I was always angry with my life and pushed love away because I thought I didn't deserve it. With? Game over. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. And look at it. It's like the heart shattering too halfway. Whoa. If you are dealing with a Virgo, they know you ain't playing. Isolated and alone, lonely, retreating, closed off. Yeah, they're going into hermit mode right now to figure you out, Scorpio. Scorpio and a cancer. Destiny. I am understanding our relationship and our connection. What I once thought was trivial was something more on a higher consciousness. I couldn't understand it then, but I do now. With foolish. 
They feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection, but too embarrassed to come forward with bad habits, repetitive bad patterns, no change. So you got a cancer that knows that they're foolish and have bad habits, but they feel like you guys were destined to be together. Okay. Scorpio. Ooh. Scorpio and a Pisces. Scorpio and a Pisces. Cycles. We keep replaying the same story over and over again, and it never ends well. When are we going to do better so we can be better? So you got a Pisces that's acquiring knowledge. I just noticed that book, and I never did before. Okay, and look at yours. I'm getting that you and a Pisces here are um, coming together. Like, they're waking up. Like, you told them about the cycles, but they're waking up to discovery. They saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down, left them feeling powerless and trapped. You helped this person break a cycle with friendly love, unrequited love, strictly platonic, and you didn't rush anything. And now this person's like... They really care about you, Scorpio. Scorpio and Scorpio. Spicy. A new beginning. We need to let go of our issues and work through our struggles by recognizing what went wrong and how we played a part in it. I love you too much to let you go. Let's start new. Then we got... This could even just be like if you're not dealing with a Scorpio. I sometimes look at this as a direct message to Scorpio for the end of the reading. And then we got fairy tale. They think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories because to them you're too perfect to believe it's true. And holding back, resisting connection closed off. So like I said, you are resisting until you know for sure. Now what's everyone getting at the bottom? Oh, attached, unsent messages spiritual practices i told you someone was getting ghosted i saw it in the cup so it says unable to confront feelings or what they are feeling wants to avoid conflicts explanation and self-introspection convenient to run instead of facing other person's reaction yikes mm, what's behind that they want to balance it remorseful through actionable change wants to undo wrongs and do right by you understanding what you put in you get out karmic justice so whoever did that to you got justice um so it says attached afraid of the unknown karmic ties and responsibilities in a committed relationship with someone else then we got a, i really want to tell you how i feel but is it too late will you understand what i'm trying to say or will you misinterpret my message I'd rather not say anything at all. And I told you someone might be trying to tell you something here. And then we got spiritual practices. Um, I'm healing myself through meditation and spiritual practices. It's the only way I can make myself whole. So you might be ghosting people even though you're attached and you ain't talking to no one because you're healing yourself. But you could also have someone that's attached and either one of you are talking to each other because they know you're healing and it's what's best for both of y'all right now. Moving on. <laughs> oh, Wow. We have unsighted, maybe you didn't know this person was attached, twin flame, potential, telepathy. Woo! The telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints on your heart, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. What's behind that? Resurrection, what you thought to be lost forever, will return and you will witness the impossible made possible. Divine intervention. They're experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. So your spirit guides have been ripping this person a new asshole. So it says, unsighted. They are unable to see the complete extent of toxicity they brought into the connection because that's all they know. They don't know how to not be attached or they either don't know how to unattach. Then we have twin flame. You don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union just as much as you. So even though you guys aren't talking, I feel like you feel this bond. Okay, with unsent messages. And then it says, they're deep in their thoughts about you, realizing their distractions prevented them from seeing the potential in you while you were over there working on yourself, baby. Mm. Falling in love. Oh, they did not expect to fall in love with you, especially if they were with someone else. Call or text so it will happen. And stuck between the two with trust your intuition, Scorpio. You're on the right or you are right, strong intuition when, when least expected, not anticipated. You'll be surprised. No contact and separation holding back. Fleeting romance work. If you might have someone ghost you because they don't want to, they don't like your spirituality. 
that could like your spirituality intimidates their demons okay so if you knew that you knew that right mm -hmm. it's just you might not expect it it does say you'll be surprised you'll be surprised um early stages awakening heart you woke this person up express conversation information about a twin flame happening this week scorpio with stuck between two loving two people and avoiding a decision so again someone sees the potential but knows there's two situations going on i think that you took a pause on everyone and ghosted everyone scorpio and everyone's like what the hell is going on with scorpio right now but you know what's happening for you you're about to get all these blessings and you're protecting yourself this is exactly what you're supposed to do baby success and pride is coming to you guys this week run with it have fun and don't let anyone bring you down let's get some more what else do my babies need to know this week scorpios scorpio patience patience is required trust the process delay delay serve your, serve your higher purpose and support remember you are never alone there's always support available to you ask for help from others with spiritual practices so just know that your spirit guides are here they're guiding you scorpio and good things are coming i promise this is the end of the reading right here stop after this <laughs> The dance, magic, movement, and energy. Your body is a wonderful thing filled with love and light just for you. Allow yourself to move in tune with your body today without judgment. Let your consciousness fully embody your being and feel the goodness you hold. You're going to be celebrating, having fun. Again, I do see some of you taking a trip soon, but I'm getting physical fitness, happiness, celebration, and moving that body. Like twerk that shit. Twerk that shit. I'm sorry um the dream hope faith and surrender the power of the dream resides in the act of dreaming allow yourself the freedom to aspire for you are worth your best efforts regardless of the outcome take time today to dream what you may and have faith that it is good dance in the dream scorpio dance and dream dream and dance look at the butterfly you dreamed about this future. You did. You dreamt about your soul tribe. Something is coming for you that you did not expect that is going to turn your world upside down in a beautiful way. Beautiful way. Success and pride is coming to you. So you might have had a delay, but mm -mm, it was for your own good, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I love, love, love you guys so much. If you want a private reading, that is linked down in the description below. Bye.